to my channel, it's Cerise here, and today's video, I have the Ice Crusher Jeffree Star Pro Skin Frost Palette for you guys, for me to review for you guys. As you can see, I'm not wearing highlighter, but I am wearing the Beauty Killer 2 palette. No big deal, guys. No big deal. But this is Skin Frost. Guys, there has not been Skin Frost in years. Literally in years. The last Skin Frost, I think, was sarcophagus it was by itself someone write in the comments down below if i'm wrong and then uh, the last palette was the oh, brain freeze palette was it that one the last like pro palette that there was so i'm so excited for skin frost to be back because i love skin frost palettes i think they are amazing everything else has been like a oh no cavity 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 is with one i'm like where is it it's somewhere cavity was the last like highlighter palette if you will but ice crusher this is another eyeshadow palette i uh, know eyeshadow palette another highlighter palette with different skin frost because he hasn't brought single skin frost out in a while which is very weird just kind of the rainbow different like neapolitan kind of vibe um skin frost i've found so this is the ice crusher first of all packaging 10 out of 10 this retails for 40 us dollars by the way the packaging is stunning look at this ice crusher this is a raised box. Just the box alone is really pretty. I feel like I'm going to have to do another frame somewhere. But this, just with the ice, the ice crusher, the packaging alone with the ice on there, the blue, like, shimmy, shiny writing, like, this is just the iridescent. It is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous pro palette. It's stunning. And the little, little snowflake. She's cute. All right, let's open it up. Let's see. Bam, 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 bam. So what do we have here? We have a mirror. We also had a protective sleeve as well. We had a protective sleeve on here. Now we have the mirror with, let's pull it up. Yes. The wee mirror there, which is a good, decent sized mirror as well for 40 bucks. You cannot go wrong. And then we have the six shades here. Now let me know if we go, if we want any other exactly the same as well, because I can already see these are looking very, very similar to some shades we already have. Like, Pluto looks very similar. Pillow Me reminds me of Dark Horse a lot. So, if you guys want to let me know. Also, Asphyxia Frost. I wonder if she's like Lavender Snow. Also, Icebreak Headache looks like literally King Tut or Sarcophagus. I don't know. I need to swatch these to really get the right, like, effect on. I'm like, can you see my arm from there? Can you see my arm? Because I kind of want to do it at this angle. Does that angle work? All right, let's go for shade Pluto. She's a nice blue. Oh, but that is stunning. That's a really nice color. Like, look at that. She's pretty. All right, and then we got Plow Me, which is definitely, definitely, definitely giving me Dark Horse vibes. Definitely. Maybe it's like the new and improved. Did he stop doing Dark Horse? I oh, know. Then we've got Asphyxia Frost. Oh, that's got some really nice reflex to it. It's like almost got a green reflex to it. I know I'm at a really weird angle. I'm just looking at my mirror to see that it's like filming right. That's really weird. It's got like a green hue to it. You can even see in the pink there, in the purple, it's got the green hue to it. And then we have shade Ice Pick Headache. Oh, that is so icy and pretty. I love it. I love it. All right, and then we have shade Snow Job, which has reflex of green in it. That reminds me of one of his like skin frost, the, not the skin frost, that what's the big one extreme frost that reminds me of one of this extreme frost it's so fucking pretty because i've wanted that green extreme frost but i like, mm, don't buy it and now it's like i pretty much have it so i'm really excited for that we have shade avalanche which has like has it got pink it's got kind of pinky shimmeries in that do you see there my arm there we can see the reflex going along there. So really, really gorgeous. Um, I'm excited to try these all over my face. This is my face at the minute. Haven't got any highlighter on, so I thought I could try the different highlighters on different parts of my face. So I'm excited. So let's get a different highlighter brush. I think I'm going to put... Oh, do I want Avalanche? They're really, really gorgeous colors, guys. Like, really, really gorgeous. I think I want shade Snowdrop as my highlighter on this side. So let's put it on this side. It's a really pretty color. Oh, the green reflex, it just makes it look really nice and gold. Reminds me of like, there was a money, like a money one, like money honey or something. But that is really pretty, especially with this eye look. So which goes with the beauty killer palette, because I know that they're like, came out at the same time. That's like real gorgeous. All right, let's put Asphyxia Frost, which would be a really good drag name as well, by the way. Let's just put it on this side. 
All right. So it definitely does have some green elements to it. Because look how that shifts on the face. It's not as purple as I thought it was going to be. Because I thought maybe it'll be like a highlighted elevated blush. But you can kind of see the purple tones in there. But it definitely does have that green kind of shift into it. Okay, so far so good. So this is more, Snowdrop's more of a glittery hue, where Asphyxia Frost is more of like a subtle shift. All right, let's get another kind of brush. Let's get shade Avalanche, and we're going to shove her on my nose. Give her a few dips in there. Definitely a little goes a long way, because I've just kind of slightly tapped that. And you can see that is a blinding little bling nose right there. Definitely got some different hues going on now that's on the face. It's a very icy, cool tone, kind of bright color. It's cute. She's cute. She's cute. We like that. All right, then I'm going to get shade Pluto. I'm going to do Pluto, and that can be for the top lip. So that's just put that here. On there, so you can kind of get the ice effect. She's definitely highlighted. It's cute. It's definitely not as hard out as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to, like, completely take over the lip and make me have, like, a blue lip. But it's actually really, really pretty. She's nice. She's cute. She's cute. All right, and I think for Plow Me, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, like, a finer brush. And I'm going to use it to highlight my brow bone to kind of go with this eye look. Because I don't really know where to place this because it is such a gold bronzy color. So see, I'm just outlining my brow bone with that now. So that color there, again, like Dark Horse, was a really hard, like, harsh color for my skin tone. I think on darker skin tones, this color will really, really pop. And just the gold will just really enhance, like, a darker skin tone than mine. But with my skin tone, it just doesn't, like, work as a highlighter per se. It's just a little bit too dark for me. But I think adding it to the brow bone or something like this is really, really pretty. It's really, really subtle. It still looks nice without it looking like it's got a dark shadow or anything like that. But there's the six shades on me, and I think that they look really, really gorgeous. I'm actually really liking Asphyxia Frost on this side with that green shift with the purple. Because it's just a really subtle, it's a subtle, like... Like, do you get what I mean? It's very, very subtle. It's She's a subtle queen. But this side is just so glittery and nice and pretty. And I'm just like, I just love the glitter. But definitely this side is very... She's cute. She's cute. So yeah, that was my kind of try on of these. It was a nice, quick, easy video. Just showing off the different like highlighters and what they do. This palette is definitely a very wearable palette for... I'd say all skin tones, really nice wearable, whether you use it as a shadow or a highlighter or even just, I don't know, you could use it as foundation if you really wanted, but it's got a, like a color for everyone. I think this is a very versatile palette. He's definitely gone with some really nice color tones in here. Purple um, works really well as a blusher, so using it as a highlighter, getting that green shift and having the purple undertones underneath it as well is a really, really smart idea for all types of skin tones. Try purple as a blush and it will change your life. Honestly, it's so pretty. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But this Plow Me, I actually really like in the brow bone. It's really, really pretty. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. But until next time, I love you so much and I'll see you on the next one.